Hi, I'm Nikhu Shiatigale. I'm a research scientist at NatureWorks. Today we will see how the single stage thermoforming process work here at NatureWorks Applications Development Facility. For the demonstration, we will be thermoforming K cups. For thermoforming, we use the sheets extruded from Ingeo 2500 HP. It's a fast crystallizing Ingeo grade. The sheet you see right here is uh, a thickness of 950 micron. We start the process by first unrolling the sheet and feeding into the thermoformer. Because it is PLA, we don't need to preheat the sheet prior to going into the thermoformer. The sheet is at room temperature, which is around 25 degrees Celsius when it's fed into the thermoformer. In the thermoformer, the sheet first indexes to the heating station where the sheet is heated between 90 to 120 degrees Celsius, which induces a little bit of nucleation in the sheet before going into the forming station. The temperature of the sheet is measured using infrared radiation pyrometer. After heating, the sheet is indexed to the forming station. This forming station includes the temperature control mold, third motion plug gases, and the trimming. In here, with forming air and plug gases, the sheet is stretched and shaped into the capsules we want. So this is where we achieve the desired material distribution, crystallization, and stress relaxation of our final products. All of these properties are essential to maintain the thermal and dimension stability of the K-caps during its application. And for that, we need to balance our, all of our thermal forming variables like the sheet temperature, mold temperature, forming air temperature, and also even in the plug motion, the plug depth and the plug speed. After forming, we also trim our parts here right in the forming station and then the sheet is indexed to the stacking station where the parts are completely separated out from the sheet and stacked. So that was our high cycle space single stage thermoforming process. These are the capsules that we cover for. So if you look at the capsule, the material distribution and crystallinity of each of these areas are very critical to the performance of this capsule. So this is where we need to balance our all of those thermoforming variables like the sheet temperature and forming air temperature. So for example, with high sheet temperature, you can get the required strain in this crystallization in the sidewall, but at the same time, it gives thin sidewall areas, which leads to poor performance um, in the rowing. So this is where we need to uh, balance the other thermoforming variables like the mold temperature, forming air temperature, and the variables associated with the plug motion like the plug speed and plug thick. So you can uh, balance the material distribution and crystallinity and stress relaxation that I mentioned before. The crystallinity and the stress relaxation that we achieve during forming are important for the thermal stability of this capsule. So you will see that as we pour hot water which is at 95 degrees Celsius, the capsules to the left which is the semi-crystalline capsule won't shrink while the amorphous PLA capsule which is on the right would shrink. That was our single stage thermoforming process. I am Nikushi Atigale. Thanks for joining me at NatureWorks Application Development Facility.